In this lesson, we will be using the square root of 59 and simplifying. So to begin, we first want to use a math rule that the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if we have two values inside a square root sign separated by multiplication, we can then turn it into two separate square roots separated by multiplication. Now we'll do the same thing with 59. First, we need to consider if 59 has any possible factors. We can check and see that 59 is actually prime. This means that there are no factors other than 1 and 59. So we actually cannot reduce the square root of 59 into any smaller values and reduce it, but we can estimate the square root of 59 by looking at perfect squares near that value. So we can see that 7 squared is 49, that's pretty close to the square root of 59, and 8 squared is 64, also close to 59. Now we can see that the square root of 59 must be between the square root of 49 and the square root of 64. As mentioned before, we know the square root of 49 will be 7 and the square root of 64 will be 8, meaning that the square root of 59 is between 7 and 8. In order to find the exact rounded value of the square root of 59, what we will do is figure out how far 59 is from both 49 and 64. So we subtract and we get 10. So 59, the square root of 59, just 59 by itself, subtracted 49 gives us 10, meaning that it's 10 away, and we can do the same thing with 64 to see that 64 is only 5 away from 59. Therefore, because 64 is closer in value to 59 than 49 is, we will say that the square root of 59 can round to approximately 